Hello, welcome to Keeping Up With Data. My name is Anushka and I have over a decade's experience on Tableau. This video is one of 12 videos linked in the description box below to learn Tableau from scratch. By the time you reach the end of all videos, you will be confident to start working on Tableau by building dashboards independently. It will also help you crack a job in the field of analytics. I have kept it really simple, bearing in mind even those with no prior work or programming experience. In this video, we will be covering the following topics. Let's begin. We are living in the digital era where everything around us has been changing at an increasingly fast pace. The amount of data being generated every second is an opportunity for businesses to collate and analyze it to take informed, intelligent decisions. Visualization is one such solution that provides a quick and easy way to analyze information to aid in this decision making. In today's video, we will be covering the following topics. Evolution of visualization. We will run through some of the benefits of visualization tools. We'll also compare good visualization versus great visualization. We will walk through the end-to-end -end process uh, to see how automation is done. We'll also compare some of the visualization tools in the market today. And finally, we'll go through the Tableau products, which are of interest to us. Now, visualization, as the term suggests, is a method of creating images, diagrams, or animations to communicate a message. Visualization in the context of analytics is also no different. What we see on the left half of the screen is a form of visualization called hieroglyphics. These are symbols that were used on ancient Egyptian monuments to represent information like work, life, religion, etc. We have over the years evolved and adopted modern tools that are quick and easy to use conveying relevant and useful information. We started with basic tools like Excel and PowerPoints and we have eventually switched to more advanced tools like Tableau, ClickView, Power BI, etc. Let me give you a couple of examples where visualization will be beneficial. One, say your customer is in charge of sales for a beverage company. They might be curious to know if the sales is seasonal. Example, sales of beverages mostly peaks during summer months and dips at other times so that they can accordingly plan for their inventory. In example number two, say your customer is the HR head for a company. One of the main objectives would most likely be to reduce attrition. Now, how would they go about doing that? Probably by analyzing exit information of previous employees to zero in on major factors causing employees to quit. Note that before jumping into visualizing your data, always understand your audience and their objective, which is most likely to drive some positive outcome for their business. Now walking you through some benefits of visualization. Visualization tools aid in quick decision making. One of its key features is that we can set up ways, manual as well as automated to refresh our data with the latest information. Hence, quick updates are possible. We will be leveraging the power of visualization tools by making our charts or graphs more insightful to provide meaningful actions that we can take in order to improve some business outcomes. So remember to always keep your views extremely insightful. Third, there are plenty of features like drop downs in the form of filters, parameters, and even actions which help navigate between graphs to drill down on information, making it extremely interactive. Now, on-the-go visualization is another benefit of Tableau. 
Consumers of these visualizations are key decision makers who prefer viewing these reports on the fly, on their phones, tabs, etc., which is a possibility with visualization tools. Certain visualization tools like Tableau, Power BI, etc. are fast gaining popularity due to its high adoption rate. As it is a simple drag and drop tool which requires no prior programming knowledge. Now, how can we come up with a good visualization? Let us remember that data is at the core of nearly every business decision made. In majority of scenarios, we are typically provided all the data from our clients. Since visualization tools require data in a particular format, data will usually need to be transformed with the help of any ETL tool like SSIS, Alteryx, etc. This transformed data is then loaded into a data warehouse, which visualization tools will then connect to. We then begin creating charts, graphs, on the visualization tool. We later arrive at the most important aspect of the whole exercise, to come up with actionable insights for our clients that they can implement in their business to have a positive business outcome. This process looks fine, but you may struggle with generating actionable insights. So as a rule of thumb, you can follow the same steps, but in the reverse order and come up with great visualizations where you can zero in on actionable insights for your clients. Now, what is a great visualization? Like I said, doing the same steps, but in the reverse order, you can generate great visualizations. You always start with asking the right questions. What is the objective of your visualization? Who is the audience? For example, say your client is a regional marketing manager for an automobile company. A. Is he looking to increase sales in a specific region? Or B. Is he getting better returns on marketing spends on TV, print, radio or digital advertisement? Based on your questions your clients are looking to answer, you arrive at the data needed to analyze this information. If present in the data provided by the client, go ahead and perform necessary transformations in order to create a data warehouse for these visualizations. Now let's look at the end-to-end -end process in order to automate the same. If you're looking to automate it, this is how it would look like. Assuming there are multiple data sources in various formats, we will need to perform custom transformations using extract transform load tools and arrive at a generic data structure that is uniform across sources. An important step is to apply the business logic since various tools may follow different nomenclature. Example, Texas might be TX in source one, TEXAS in source two, etc. We will need to map each of those to reflect a common naming convention. Post applying this business logic, the data is finally stored in a data warehouse. We can then directly connect our visualization tools to this data warehouse. Let's compare some of the visualization tools out there. The latest Gartner Quadrant rates Tableau, Microsoft, Power BI and ClickView as among the leaders in visualization and rightly so. Now what are the different products that we have out there? These are the key Tableau products that are of interest to us. One needs a Tableau desktop license. You have a 14 day free trial version in order to create the visualizations. Since Tableau Desktop is otherwise a paid product, we cannot expect consumers to each own a desktop to view this, these visualizations. To take care of the consumption of viewing of these reports, there is a Tableau Reader for one. 
which is completely free where the visualizations can be viewed. Second option is to view the visualizations on the web with additional features like automated scheduled ref data refreshes, etc. This is called Tableau Server, which is a paid product. To stay up to date with the latest technologies, please hit the bell icon. Thank you.